let's spill the beans. Trump threatens the North American Union scheme. What does that mean? As Rush Limbaugh said, is Trump has made illegal immigration an issue of national debate that the establishment on both sides have objections to. But what Trump has actually done is threaten a decades old plan to submerge the sovereignty of the United States so as to politically integrate the U.S., Canada, and Mexico into a trilateral entity known as the North American Union. The CFR, also known as the Council on Foreign Relations, calls it a North American community. Bye-bye, Constitution. Isn't it funny, though, that Ted Cruz thought Trump was terrific, brash, and spoke truth when Trump was a perceived clown without a chance? Also, when Ted was still the perceived outsider, sure, outsider whose wife worked for the very CFR he once called a pernicious nest of snakes working to undermine our sovereignty. Hmm, here we go. Building a North American community courtesy of the CFR and their task force. Shall we see who's on that task force? Well, looky here. Heidi S. Cruz, an investment banker who worked in the Bush White House under Condoleezza Rice at the National Security Council, also at the U.S. Treasury Department, as well as a special assistant to Robert Zellick, the U.S. Trade Representative. Oh, before that, she was an investment banker in New York City. That's his New York City values, right? So anyways, how has this worked out for us? As China's wages climb, Mexico's factories stand again. An article from 2012 where it talks about the rock bottom wages now soaring in China. So it's caught the attention of chief executives who want to see how they can and where they can make their stuff the cheapest way possible and to hell with everybody else. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out how Trump has caught on. Same goes for Bernie Sanders. They're both against these free trade agreements, which are disastrous, not only for American workers, but for our sovereignty. Here you have the a o Smith Electric Motor Company that moved out of Kentucky eight years ago. At the time, Randall and Brenda Williams made $16.10 an hour. That same company moved across the Rio Grande from Texas to Acuna, Mexico, where Miss Gonzalez makes $1.75 an hour on par with the wages on the assembly line. To us, it sounds like, oh my God, that's garbage. But that's just because our money's worth garbage. It, for her, it's life-changing. She'll have a washing machine, which her mother never had, cable TV, a minivan, her kid will go to college. Oh, and Zumba classes. NAFTA is the worst thing that's ever happened to the U.S. It's true. Prior to NAFTA, trade between the U.S. and Mexico was a relatively tame affair. The two sides alternated between deficits and surpluses. Hmm, but now Mexico's climbed faster, and by 2015, the U.S. was posting a de deficit of $60 billion, 360 with China. Well, crap, I guess Trump was right again, huh? Robert E. Scott of the Economic Policy Institute uh, estimates that the deficits with Mexico alone have cost 850,000 American jobs. In Acuna alone, there are 38,000 factory workers today, but in 1980, the town's entire population was just 42,000. Well, and what's coming next for us, folks? That's right. Unfortunately, Ted Cruz did support the Trans-Pacific Trade Deal. Here are the only ones, not in red, that didn't support it. Funny, two of them are kind of for Trump. So, in the beginning of the congressional session, Republicans now in control of both House and Senate Senator Ted Cruz and Paul Ryan supported it. So, and what about Trump? For decades, Japan and other nations have been taking advantage of the U.S. Make Japan, Saudi Arabia, and others pay for the protection we extend our allies. Let's help our farmers, our sick, our homeless. This was Trump, not last week. He took out an ad with his own money in 1987, and it was a letter to America. At least he's consistent, folks. Wake up, Wisconsin. Ted and Heidi Cruz are the furthest thing from outsiders. They're Bush operatives. She wrote the report on the North American Union and works for the very Goldman Sachs that stole everything from the American people in 2008.